Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna take you through a full body workout. Um, no equipment is needed for this. The only things I would grab is some water. Um, if you have a yoga mat and you're on a hard uh, surface, I would grab a yoga mat if you have it. This workout has two circuits. Each circuit has six exercises and we're gonna alternate between a strength exercise and a cardio exercise. Each exercise is gonna last 45 seconds and then you're gonna get 15 seconds to rest. We're gonna repeat the circuit twice. So circuit one, we're gonna do twice, and then we're gonna go on and move on to circuit two, repeat all those exercises twice, and then we'll be done. So good luck, and let's have some fun. For this first exercise, make sure that you stay nice and low in your squat position every time that you come up from your kneeling position. Keep the weight in your heels as much as possible to avoid putting any unneeded pressure on your knees. For this exercise, keep your hips as stable as possible. I see commandos done wrong all the time and people's hips are swaying side to side. So really squeeze your core and squeeze your glutes as much as you can to keep those hips nice and centered.
Okay, for this one, make sure you have enough room because I just hit the wall and lose my balance a little bit. But if you have enough space, you really want to think about going as far as you can from side to side on those ice skaters. You want to think about really pushing off of your leg and launching yourself as far as you can side to side to get the most out of this exercise.
Okay, for reverse lunge to curtsy lunge, all you're doing on the reverse lunge is stepping right behind yourself, and then on the curtsy lunge, you're stepping behind yourself but on a diagonal. As you can see, you can either decide to pulse these, and like I am in the video right now, or you can completely step your foot back into center and then go into the second lunge. It's completely up to you. Whatever one that you feel better is the one that you should do. I love this next exercise because there are so many ways you can make it either harder or easier. So if you're not that great at push-ups, once you get down to your plank, you can drop those knees and do an assisted push-up that way. Or if you are good at push-ups, you can do as many push-ups as you want here um, from two, three, four, five, whatever you want, and then crawl those hands back up for the inchworm. So it's totally up to you. Do what you're capable of doing and don't force your body to doing anything that is going to injure itself. So I know doing lunge jumps for 45 seconds is definitely challenging. If you need to make this easier, you can take rests as needed, or you can just step back and do reverse lunges and take out the jumping part of it until you catch your breath a little bit, and then you can go right back into the jump lunges. So as you can see right here, I'm just stepping back and doing a reverse lunge, catching my breath, and then I'm going right back into the jumps.
Okay, congrats, you made it through the entire workout. You just wanna make sure that you do a cool down of some sort, stretch your legs out, your arms, anything that you need, and definitely make sure that you hydrate. I'm dying, as you can see, toweling myself off. Give yourself some time so that your heart rate can come back down. is the last thing to come up it will help so that you don't get dizzy on your way back up all right everyone that completes our workout for today hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully you were challenged i plan to come out with some more workouts more no equipment ones and also some that have minimal equipment as well just whatever i have access to right now with everything going on um yeah so let me know how it went for you in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up for me and i will see you guys in the next one <laughs>